Nigerians remember that green after 10 years. Mm. Somebody was passionate about this. Yes. Yeah, so I was yeah. reading this this morning, <laughs> um, the article written by she Tony. Cried. And I, I had to run upstairs because I just finished doing my makeup. And I'm like, hey, makeup artist, please help me wipe the stairs because I was, it was so emotional for me to to read all that. Anyone who knows me will know a fair Christ for everything. So maybe don't take it too personally. But <clears throat> this story first hit me because I don't think I have revisited I, I have revisited it as an adult. Um, when it happened, I was still very young. One. Secondly, I think it was the first time I was kind of like acknowledging that he was only 23 when he died. And I think, like I said, because I'm an adult, it's beginning to hit for me what 23 means and be gone at that short period of time. Um, the article that I read that was getting me all emotional had him get, basically gave his recount, and um, it was interesting to just see how he was such a like I don't know like the he was like a Tupac. We haven't really had that. Even Olamide that sings indigenously does not have that vibe to him. Olamide pays him respect too. Yeah, yeah. And there's something about that green that I don't think we've had before and after him where he kind of was always level-headed. Like the, 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 the person that was recounting that his, his death said something about how he went to look for his apartment and everything and had moved from his shack, but he still moved to another, like, another shack but he just made a nice house in that place so he was somebody that wanted to stay grounded stay with the roots and mm -hmm. like he didn't move to phase one or you know like he didn't get disconnected from that and i really respected that it's also very creepy i mean it was creepy then it's still creepy now to see that he um then sang a song about his death and saying people should not cry for him almost like he knew and there was a cleanliness in his in his rap like yeah. he wasn't filled with the kind of i mean now they make you feel like if you're rapping indigenous it has to be really vulgar yeah. and rough and dirty but he was he was like you said he was grounded yeah. and level-headed so. what i what i would say to this story the way from the tears and the emotion is that i was honestly kind of surprised that they didn't do anything for him to mark this 10 years. Um, Corona. It was a, yeah, I, well, no, but usually you don't, you can't do that the day before. Like you have to have started planning these things, and it's 2020. Things are even a lot more harder. Like no one, if and I feel like if they were doing anything in the process or had any idea, but I found out on social media. So they had a song called "My Pain" that had it was like seven minutes long, and all the stars were in there. That was, was when he died. Yes, mm -hmm. and I, I went to all of them's page. There's a lot of names. I I I was like, wow, okay, this person like Dorella. Um, Shade, uh, RSK. I went to almost everyone's Instagram. Not one thing everything. about a 10 year thing. And you were in that video saying your heart, your soul, your body, your mind. Like, ah, I don't know. Because well, I feel like 10 me, years is a big me, I think it's a celebration of life for me because um, at the end of the day, he paved the, the way for a lot of indigenous rappers. Now we have people like Olami Day. We have them. Um, what are the other indigenous rappers? We have Zlatan. We have Naira Mali. We have a lot of people rapping in Yoruba. So I think um, it's, it was like the messiah of um, indigenous rap in Nigeria. And for that, I think we should be grateful and celebrate his life in this 10 years. So I agree with what you're saying. I hope um, they will do something post COVID-19 about um, his 10 years anniversary, but you know, I hope I just so, because I think they usually have, it's, mm. it's, it's not necessarily a very big event, but they usually have um, clusters you know, of I just events, want to use even this. when it wasn't 10 years. So I just want to like even if it's a remake happening. of that video, because I know oh, that, because okay. uh, I know that that video, um, Sasha P and YQ, who were really close to him, couldn't even process the thing enough to, beyond that he released an article about coming out for the first time this is 10 years after saying he's still not over it and everything like there are people who are really close to him yeah like, why he was the one who came out to talk about the least um yeah, the, the decade years yeah, and that yeah, he wasn't yeah, there so yeah. i think that that would be definitely one of the people that would do something yeah but if, you know, call, i just want to remember they come out and like um, his songs what's your favorite that green song i don't know titles of songs sorry no pom, like, pom, pom, okay. for sure <laughs> That song was ringing in my head. Even, 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 um, the song with YJ, I really like that one.